Okay, today we are going to put magnets in our cows. Everything over a year old has a magnet in it, unless they turned a year old um, in June. And so we have several that have turned a year old. We have one turn a year old in June, one in July, and two in August. Um, a while back we were at the vet, a couple years ago we were at the vet, and since they already had one calf and a head gate, we said, can you go and put a magnet in her? And our vet said, we like to wait till they're a year so their rumen is fully developed. So that's why we wait till they're a year. Okay, so this is a uh, bolus gun or a balling gun or baling gun. Depends on where you're from is how you pronounce it. This is plastic. They have nice metal ones out there. But I got this from Tractor Supply probably five, six years ago, and it works great. These are the magnets that we use. Some of them are rounded like this one. Others come in a square shape. We got these from Valley Vet, um, and it fits right inside this bolus gun. Why a magnet? Well, these magnets are super heavy and they're super strong. So I, we actually have to apply a lot of force to get these suckers off. So um, they're very strong magnets. When you put it into the, can, the cow or the calf or the steer or whatever, um, it sits in their rumen and collects metal, anything metal that they eat. Um, from nails and screws to baling wire, which we've dropped baling wire in the pasture before and it's, they're really, it's really hard to find. So, um, Anyway, then, you know, there were people here before we were, and you never know what can show up in your pasture. So, um, that's what these magnets are for. They collect a whole bunch of metal things and keep that metal from passing through the rest of the digestive system. Once it starts passing through um, the other areas of the digestive system, it could puncture organs and um, intestinal tracts and cause lots of problems. So, it's very preventable. We have put magnets in every single cow that stepped foot here. Um, with the exception of maybe steers that were going to be butchered at 14, 15 months, we don't tend to put one in them at that point. So, um, but that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to stop the video right here and we'll do videos um, of all the cows that we are putting magnets in. Sometimes it goes really easy. Sometimes it's a little tougher. So here you go. Okay, this is Hazel. She just turned a year old August 15th and today's August 31st. Um, we just tie them. We don't have a head gate that will fit these guys. Like I said, sometimes it works really well with no problems and sometimes it doesn't. Um, so the goal is to slot, put the, the magnet into the gun and it just sits on top there and it acts like a syringe or a plunger. And when you push the plunger part, it pushes the bolus out. We follow their tongue straight, we follow their tongue all the way down. Once it's in, probably about there, maybe there, depends on the animal. Then we push the plunger in. Um, normally, once we get it in there, they're fine. Um, but getting it in there is tough. They don't like things being shoved down their throat unless it's in the form of food. Okay, so here we go. There we go. And sometimes I don't get it all the way down and they'll chew on it and spit it out but she did great. Um, I always fear, even though I've done, I mean, I'm in the double digits, probably 30 that I've done, and I always worry about getting in their lungs. And if they don't cough, I think we're good to go, but I like to do it in the morning. That way we can monitor them all day. Okay, this is Rooster. He turned a year old back in June. I don't know what day, because he's fairly new to us. Um, he hasn't been to a show yet, so. Um, I did take his temperature this morning because he hadn't been eating as vigorously as he normally does. But he's a pretty chill guy anyway. He wasn't running a fever. But I tell you that because he's already kind of irritated with me today. So this, he's probably not going to like this. So we'll see how it goes. And we have a nose ring to work around too. All done. There we go. Good. Okay, last guy today. This is Rico. I think he's like July 17th. Again, he's a newer one to us. Um, he's a pretty chill dude too. We'll see how he likes this. He's obviously liking the scratches. Um, for what it's worth, we don't clean these between each cow. They all share the same water trough, eat out of the same food, and lick each other in places that um, isn't very clean. So we don't clean this between each one. Um, sometimes I will drop these and I do clean these off before I put them in. All right. Go. 
Come on. Let's get it back there. Hey, buddy. It's okay. All right. Hang on. I couldn't get it all the way back there. He shoved his tongue up. So, it's still in there. There have been times that I've plunged it in, and then it just doesn't go. It's not all the way in, and they chew on it and spit it out. So, somebody didn't uh, lock that gate, girls. <laughs> Keep filming. Hazel's out in the yard. So, we need to go get her back. Okay. Let's try this again. And he clenches those teeth together, too. So there we go. There we go. If you can get through the teeth, sometimes I like to clench your teeth together like, like a toddler who has something in their mouth that they don't want to let you know what it is. He closes his teeth pretty good. But if you can pry it in there, um, be careful because they will bite you sometimes and it hurts. So, All right, that's putting magnets in four caps.